wondered about the life of Maribel Garlic, the renowned herbology professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Born in London and raised in a Muggle household, Maribel did not feel quite at home until her journey took her to Hogwarts. Sorted into the loyal house of Hufflepuff, she discovered her extraordinary affinity for magical plants. In her initial days, she met Sirona Ryan, a seventh-year student working part-time at the Three Broomsticks Inn. Maribel, feeling out of place, was considering leaving Hogwarts, but Sirona's confidence and aura sparked a change in her, leading Maribel to embrace her true self. This encounter marked the beginning of a lifelong friendship. Fast forward to her seventh year at Hogwarts, Maribel's skill in herbology was recognized with the prestigious Hogwarts Herbology Award. Her journey didn't stop there. She went on to become the beloved herbology professor at Hogwarts, charming everyone with her sunny demeanor and flowery language. During the school year of 1890 to 1891, Maribel had high hopes for Hufflepuff's chances at Quidditch, despite not knowing the rules. This was the year when Quidditch was cancelled due to a student's injury. However, Maribel continued to inspire her students, providing extracurricular tuition and assigning a 20-inch essay on Dittany and its uses. Her bond with Sirona Ryan only strengthened over the years. The two shared a bond so deep that it inspired Maribel throughout her life. Their friendship was a testament to the power of support and acceptance. Maribel also shared a warm relationship with Dorothy Sprottle, who was a mutual friend with Sirona Ryan. Although she didn't visit Dorothy often, she cherished their delightful conversations, and as she confessed, their incomparable cauldron cakes. In summary, Maribel Garlic's life is a tale of self-discovery, resilience and friendship. From a young girl feeling out of place in a magical world, to a respected professor at Hogwarts, her journey is a testament to the power of finding one's true calling. Her story serves as a reminder that it's never too late to embrace who we are and that every encounter can lead to a lifelong friendship or even a career-defining moment.